Okay, basically what I'm gonna do is show you how I'm gonna set up the Kemper player to work with the Chocolate Plus and how I use the Chocolate Plus to change between different rigs. And for me, that means different amps. And I have five different amps that I wanna use. The Morning Star, I plan to use in the future whenever I get this configured right to be able to change the rig. But then within the rig, I would use the Morning Star to change if turn off and on effects and other things within the rig. Maybe I'll do another video on that later. But basically to make this thing happen, I have the Chocolate Plus uh, turned on to you, user mode. And then this is set to MIDI channel one. This is set to MIDI channel one as well, the Kemper, and then um, so they can communicate. And then I have to configure this to do the kind of steps that I want to do. In most cases, you might have these things be, you know, MIDI channel 0 through 127 or 1 through 128, depending upon the device. You know, button 1 changes it to 1, 2, 3, 4. In this case, I've got four buttons. I'd have to double click this down at the same time to get to the next bank. And then this would become five in the next bank. I don't want that. I basically want my four rigs plus to get to the fifth one. I can just hold down this last button. And to do that, I use an app called... Cube Suite, which is for the Chocolate Plus. Let me get back to this and you can see. And basically, I turn on Bluetooth on the, uh, in this case, I'm using a phone, Android phone. And then I connect to the Chocolate Plus via Bluetooth, bring up the app, and then it'll find it. I can then select it and see it. It's going to connect here. It's going to take a few seconds. And you can see there's these different modes. You can like the basic mode, the change A, A mode, it would let you do the one through 120, or sorry, zero through 127 for many changes, a very basic way of doing it. I wanna use the advanced mode, in this case where I would then be able to set the long press for that fourth button. And the way it breaks this out is that I've got eight groups, four switches for each group. In this case, I'm using group one and if I want to choose button one, I want it to send a program change of zero, which would be referenced as rig one in the Kemper. And then you can see here that I'm also in single step, single bank mode for that. It's going to be a little bit different for the fourth one. This will be the same thing, but I'm going to be at program change one, which starting at zero one would be the second button. Again, single step mode, which, which C would take me to program change two, which would be zero, one, two, the third rig, single step mode again. Now for the fourth one, you're going to see that I've got step short and long step. And within that, I've got a bank A and a bank B. I set bank A to be program change three, which starting at zero would be the fourth rig. And for the long press, I'm gonna set that bank to program change four, which would be the fifth rig. And to change these, you can just go in and switch which one you want. And again, to configure these, you would go in and change it to whatever channel you want and whatever data you wanna send. That's how those are done. And once that's set up, I basically have my button one, rig one, button two, rig two, button three, rig three, rig four with button four, long press, button five. Pretty straightforward. And uh, I think it's a great tool for doing this type of thing with, with the Kipper. Great add-on for pretty little money. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks.